Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I'm so happy. I'm so sad. Sometimes it's a delusion. Hello. This is the hair that came out of my head. It's coming good, right? ASMR. I'm feeling happy. Feeling happy. I was. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you've never been here before, my name is Emma Thompson Hill, thank you for joining me, today it's back again, this is the first week of vlogmas 2021, so I do vlogmas but I just do it like every week, on a Sunday it'll get uploaded, I could not keep up with that daily stuff, hell no, it's the first week of vlogmas, today it's the 1st of December which is a Wednesday, I can't talk properly, it's a Wednesday. So um, I'll vlog like Wednesday to Saturday, it'll be a little shorter one and then next week we're on. Scheduled programming, ow. I trapped my finger in a door on the weekend and it's still not fully, it's a lot better actually, but it's still hurting a little bit. The swelling's gone down. Yeah, but as you can hear probably I'm ill. I was ill like two weeks ago, no like three weeks ago, I got ill. I was ill for like a whole week, took me out. I'm really bad like sinus cold all pressure in my head, like loads of pressure in my nose, like sneezing low, just sn whoa, sniffly, phlegm, that sort of thing. It went away, I went to Amsterdam last week, um, and then when I came back from Amsterdam, I think it was Sunday morning, I started feeling ill again, so I got the same cold back again. Well, it started on Saturday night, I was like, I feel a bit like I'm getting ill again, so like, I put my nasal spray in my clutch bag on my night out, um, and my strepsils, and then Sunday it was back, so, it's like clearing out again now because it's Wednesday. It's like on its way out. But I'm just like, how have I got ill twice in the space of one month? Like, this is not the life for me. But anyway, I've got some advent calendars. This year we have, look fantastic. And we also have a little saucy one. And summers, but this is just a 12 day one. Um, I was going to buy myself an advent calendar and then I was like, Emma, you do not need that. I was thinking about buying myself a chocolate advent calendar too. I still might if I see one out. I've just not been anywhere to see one. I really fancy getting like a, like a fancy one, like a lint one or like, you know, that sort of vibe. When I was younger, my mum just bought me like the cheapest, like one pound one. <laughs> so that's what I'm used to. Like some people's mums buy them like the really fancy, like chocolate ones. I'm like, wow. Anyway, I'm gonna open these, but I'm actually, I'm, oh, you can see what's in the back, what's in it. I'm gonna open these on my, I'm doing on my Instagram stories this year, which I'll obviously show you as well, but I'll show you after I've done it on my stories and then we can talk about what I'm gonna do today. I've opened them, but I'll show you what I got. So this is the Ann Summers 12 day one. That's what it looks like. And in our day one, we got a mini, a mini, 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 mini wand. Um, so it's like, you know, the big microphone ones. It's like that, but mini. That's what it looks like. Kind of cute. Um, it came with a battery. I'm going to put it on and you can hear it. Can you hear it? That's the same one. One, two, three, four, five. Actually. It's kind of powerful, kind of powerful. I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of like mini vibrators. Like I'm just with the big boys. But if you're into that or you like using it with a partner or uh, if you're just a beginner, very good option. This is definitely a, a step up from a bullet. Like this is, yeah, but it's discreet. Like you actually really can't tell what it is too much. So that's a good little one over there. And then I have a look fantastic advent calendar. Very different to the Amsterdam's one. So this is all like beauty stuff. Smells incredible. Um, and on our day one, we got Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. I've heard of this before, but I've never used it. The, the term goat milk is a little bit alarming to me, but um, I'm sure it'll be really good. And I love anything moisturizing because I have dry skin. And at the moment, because the weather's turned like, and I've been ill, my skin's been so dry. My lips have been so dry, like it's horrible. But yeah, that was it. 
I'm really hungry. Like I said, I got back from Amsterdam last week. Since I got back, it was Black Friday, so I've been like staying at my mum and dad's a lot and working a lot. So this is like the first day that I've actually been like at my house on my own. So I really don't have any food in and like the food I do have has like gone off and I just need to do like a big clean around the house today because my mum and my auntie are coming to mine on Saturday because we're going Christmas shopping and they're staying over for the night. So I want to make sure the house is nice and clean. I'm going to wash all the bedding. I've got so much washing to do. It's actually... A I don't even think I have any knickers at the moment. Like, that's how much washing I've got to do. So I just need a general clean up and spruce up. So yeah, and I might, I don't wanna, I don't think I wanna do a food shop yet. I might do an online Tesco food shop, but I keep ordering Deliveroo and it's like pointless. I'm like, why do I keep ordering food? But I might have to order food again. Shit, I need to pay my rent. There's so many things I need to do. <sighs> mm, I'm just looking at it all thinking, no, actually, I'd just rather go and lie back in bed. But no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get up. I'll sort everything out. I might just do like a little cut away of me doing everything. So that's the plan for today. And then I do need to sit and like do some computer work. But yeah. Through drought and famine, natural disasters. My baby has been around for me. Kingdoms have fallen, angels be calling. None of that could ever make me leave. Yeah. Every time I look into your eyes. This is my spare bedroom and look how much of a state it is. This just becomes the dumping ground, like when I want everywhere else to look semi-tidy because I can just shut the door and pretend it's not here. Um, so I'm gonna put all the clothes away, but it's like all these are mixed up. I actually really, I really need to go through like my wardrobe because I'm just gonna sell loads of stuff and depop it and I'm ready for a new, new wardrobe because I keep, you know when you keep going to your wardrobe and you're like, I literally don't have anything to wear. Like I'm not inspired by anything. I'm not saying the clothes aren't nice, they are nice. I just feel like I want to depop them and then get some new clothes. They're my vibes for right now. Um, so I'm going to tidy everything up though first. That is that is not a job for today because it'll take me like a good solid like couple days. So maybe next week I'll do like a proper clean out and can start depopping some stuff. But for now, we're just going to make everything tidy. I've been tidying and putting my clothes away, but I realised before I went to Dam, like I made um, a misguided order and I got this coat. I didn't end up taking it because I wasn't sure on it. So I'm thinking, I don't know if it's keep it or not. I do quite like it. It's just a little bit small, like you can see. But it does fit really nice and it is nice and warm. It's like a padded sort of puffer jacket. Can you see it? My mirror's filthy. Oh my God. It's like this kind of vibe, like a padded puffer. I quite like it. I know it doesn't really fit properly, but I'm like, would I be zipping it up? I don't know. If you're gonna get this, I would say size up if you want a better fit. Oh, hold on, it is gonna fit. Oh, it's fine. Why did I think it wasn't gonna fit? I guess it's more of like a slim fit. <laughs> but I don't really see myself zipping it up anyway, so. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep it. Cause I did want like a long puffer. And this is like not any, I really like the material because it's not like shiny or anything like that. It's sort of like a, I don't even know what you'd say, but it's very like a, a matte color. Okay, this is cute. everyone so I did what I needed to do today I did my tidying up I feel so much better because everything's like clean and nice 
and all that good stuff. But I did find a tree online that I need to buy. It's from Argos. £95. <sighs> Christmas trees are expensive. Well, this is a, um, a artificial one. Um, for some reason, in the move, my artificial tree from last year, I don't know where it is. I think it got, I might, it might have been thrown out, it might have been lost, I don't know where it is. But that's fine because my tree last year, I got it so late. If you watched Vlogmas last year, I got my tree really late and I ended up having to like have the last one. It was like the, the display one and it was like really skinny. <laughs> it was, everyone was making fun of me because you like, my tree was skinny. Um, <clears throat> This year, I'm a bit more organised. Do you remember last year, I was like, oh, I'm going to buy everyone's Christmas presents early, and then I was scrambling at the last minute, and I hadn't bought any Christmas presents. You'll be happy to know. I've already bought um, two of my auntie's presents and my cousin. So, I'm, I'm on it this year, guys. I'm feeling a bit better as well. Like, my cold, I feel like, is really on its way out again. I hope it doesn't come back. I'm praying it doesn't come back again. But, yeah, so I'm just going to get in bed now, watch some Insecure, because I've watched it... I've started watching it from the start again. Um, so I watched the whole of season one like last night and this morning. And I'm on season two now. So I'm gonna finish watching some of that and then go to bed. In the morning I'm getting up. I wouldn't say early, but I'm getting up in good time because I'm going to Preston. I have the gym on a Thursday with Andy. So I'm gonna go to the gym, then go to the warehouse. All that good stuff, stuff to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. I finished at the gym. I got an iced oat latte. I usually don't get oat anymore. I usually get nut blend. And usually I don't like oh oh no it's I don't like oat in hot drinks because it kind of takes you can really taste the oat but. I mainly drink soy milk these days, but when I come to Starbucks, I get a nut blend. And then also, I'm trying the Very Merry Beyond Meat Breakfast Sandwich. I really like the Beyond Meat Breakfast Sandwich from Starbucks. I'm not vegan or anything, but I truly like it. And the last time I came and got a, I just got a iced latte, the lady said, oh, you're not having a Beyond Meat Sandwich today? Because I used to get them a lot. <laughs> she said that we, they had the festive one, so now I've come this time, I thought I'm gonna try the festive one. I'm also listening to a very good podcast. I don't know why I keep pointing at you. I'm listening to a very good podcast today. It's The Diary of a CEO by Stephen Bartlett. I love that podcast. But the episode today is with Mel Robbins. I was listening to it yesterday and I've listened to it today because it's like two hours long. Um, it's a really, really good. It's really good. Go and check it out. It's talking all about like happiness and how you can make yourself happier and stuff. But yeah, now we're on our way to Allbody. On our way to work, for some reason, oh, I thought I was um, getting my eyebrows done today, but I'm not. I'm getting my eyebrows done tomorrow. Which gives me more time to work today because I have quite a few things to do. I think I need to go because this guy is like backing out. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. The weather today is stunning and it makes me happy. I love it when it's like a cold winter day, but the sun is shining. So let's go. I'm so happy. I'm so sad. Alice put the heater on for me because she's a good egg. So should we talk to them about how Black Friday went? It went fantastic. She's still making shit. She's still making stuff. Yeah. No, but it went pretty well. Well, it went, didn't go pretty well. It went really well. It went really, really well. Yeah, we had like 300 orders. That's the most orders we've ever had. That's not, that's a lie, Alice, because I checked the Black Friday from last year and we had like 500. No, you're lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. Many bags before. I don't think we have since we've changed oh, to the no, new system. Last, last year we dropped. We did Christmas we did boxes and we did Black Friday, Friday yeah. We split it up this yeah, year. we have. Um, so, the empty warehouse, sorry about this red light, it's from the heater. Um, the warehouse is looking pretty empty, isn't it? I tried to buy a Christmas tree, the one I wanted has gone out of stock, so I'm looking at a different one, but it's 200 pounds. But my theory is, if I get a good one, then it'll last forever. Um, I hope that doesn't go out of stock again. I just wanna go home and measure, just so before I buy it, do you know what I mean? Cause it's seven foot. 
I'm asking for it to be sold out, aren't I? I'm praying that it doesn't. Everything will work out in the end. Um, that's what's going on right now. I've just been doing loads of work. My battery's flashing. I'm scared it's gonna turn off. I've just been getting through some work that I need to do. We're having a great time, except it's cold in here and my nose is running because it's cold. And I'm dying. We're both ill. I'm not. I'm, my illness is clearing up actually. Because we've given it to you. <laughs> I resent that remark. Well, it's true. Well, you're out there doing niche. I was out. While well, you was out here doing niche, I was here making moves. I'm home. I feel like I've been bad at vlogging. I'm like, I'm forgetting that it's actually Vlogmas now and I'm supposed to vlog. <laughs> but I'm home. I got stuck in horrendous traffic on my way home. So I just got home and crashed on the sofa for like an hour. So I've just put a wash on. I've just put my bottom sheet on my bed. I had a parcel come in, say, from Fabletics, which I ordered for Black Friday because Fabletics are my favorite leggings, but they can be expensive. So I've needed some new ones for a really long time, but I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. So on Black Friday, I finally ordered. I got like eight pairs of leggings, three tops, two sports bras, and like two hoodies like this. Love it. So I think I might do a haul with that, like an actual haul video, because I wasn't planning on, but now it's here. I'm like, maybe I might as well. Just ordered some food. I need to do a food shop. I just ordered food from Pepe's because when I lived in Preston, you put, there was not many places you could order from that was good, but I could order from Pepe's, so I was obsessed with Pepe's. Um, so I've got that. I've got a chicken tasker. Come in to me. Thank you very much. I did my advent calendar, but I didn't show you. Basically, I got some hair product. I'll try and show you um, in the morning because my light is flashing. I need to charge this camera. We have a nice, clean bed. I'm going to get in it. That's why I didn't make it properly. I'm going to get in it. I'm going to watch Insecure and eat my food. And... Pretty much just chill for the rest of the evening. I have horrible period cramps, so I'm just gonna like take a nice hot shower and lie in bed, okay? Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I've just been laid in bed for a little bit watching TikToks, but I'm up. Um, it's half past nine. I need to be leaving the house really at half past 12 because I'm getting my eyebrows done and my eyelashes done. I just get like a wax and tint and then a, what's it called? A lash lift a lash lift and I think she tints them as well I don't know though because recently like I've had lash lifts for quite a while I used to do individuals and then I and then I stopped because I realized I look kind of crazy with no makeup on because <laughs> I actually don't wear makeup that much and I was having really full lashes and I think they look so good when you're wearing makeup with them when you're not wearing makeup sometimes it can look a bit out of pocket that's my opinion personally I've been seeing like this revival of like the natural lash extensions and I'm really into it like some of my friends get really natural ones and I'm like maybe I should start doing that again but it's just really annoying to me because I love to rub my eyes especially in the shower like I like to rub my eyes and you can't really do that too much like when you have the extensions on I don't know I'm going to Miami in January so I might get some for Miami and see if I like them but up until then I'm gonna just keep doing lash lifts because they're just a cute little, they make my eyes look really bright and then when I put mascara on my, like, my lashes look really long. Yeah, but I'm going to basically, I'm going to wash my hair right now because, um, I'm going to wash my hair because after your lash lift you can't get your eyes wet for like 24 hours. So I could wash my hair afterwards but it'd just be a stress like not trying to get my face wet. Um, so I'm going to get in the shower and I will show you guys my hair current hair routine because you guys have been asking for it for so long i'm not fully immersed in back in my routine yet i'll show you what i do <laughs> i'll show you what i've recently been doing i don't feel like this is the best routine to like make my hair look as as curly as or as wavy as possible but we're gonna try out today see how it goes so right now i, I use a hair mask every time i wash my hair pretty much because I pretty much only wash my hair like once a week, if at most twice a week. Um, because as you can see, I constantly wear my hair up. So as soon as it starts getting like dirty, I just put it up. 
because I just can't be asked of it. So I use a hair mask every week pretty much, but I'm just thinking I don't know which one to use. I have this Sol de Janeiro hair repair treatment or this bread hair mask. But I'm just, basically what I do with all my hair products is I put them through this website called Is It CG? Like, is it Curly Girl approved? Um, I don't follow the Curly Girl hair method to a T, but I basically try not to use any sulfates, any drying alcohols, any silicones, anything that's gonna like clog up my hair and just not be good for my hair type. So I basically, every product that I'm gonna use, I look up the ingredients and I put it through this system. So I've just looked up this one and then I literally go on the website here and then I'm gonna um, copy and paste it and then submit it and it's gonna tell me it says this is not curly girl approved because it has pen am i really gonna sp say, this, say this out loud penal trimethicone and it's got isopropyl alcohol so i could use it but it's just not the best for my hair because it has a silicone that i should not use which is trimethicone and a drying alcohol that i shouldn't use which is isopropyl alcohol which is like a drying alcohol that's annoying because I think this is probably going to smell incredible, but I guess that's going to go in my pile of giveaway stuff, which pains me. But if it's not good for my hair, I don't want to use it. So let me search this one. I'm pretty sure this one is 100% curly girl approved. I think this is actually made, well, it says for curl types 3A to 4C. So, I mean, I'm like 3A at a fucking push. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> actually, I just Google 3A. There's no way I'm 3A. This is probably too heavy for my hair. Maybe if I just use it sparingly, it'll be okay. I'm like a 2C. I'm Googling 2C and 2C is looking. <sighs> now I'm Googling 3A. There was no way in hell I was ever a 3A. <laughs> I'm like a 2B. Yeah, 2B. <laughs> That's funny. Sometimes it's the delusion. It's the delusion. Sometimes I want better hair than I actually have. But, you know. It's actually really healthy, though, at the moment. Um, but I have been, like, using quite a bit of heat on it. I usually never ever use heat on my hair. Can you even see me right now? I feel like it's going dark. This is good to use on my hair, but I'm not sure if it'll be too heavy. I'll just use a little bit of it. I barely use heat on my hair. Um, I'm gonna diffuse my hair today because I thought, why not? Usually I don't even diffuse my hair, but I'm gonna do that just to see if I can get more definition. I don't color my hair. This is 100% my natural hair color, and it's been this way for a while. I do wanna get it back sort of like balayaged, but I just keep putting it off and putting it off. So I don't color my hair. I try not to use that much heat on my hair, even though I have been recently, I've been straightening it a lot more. But when I do straighten it, it's looking really shiny, like it's just in really good health. So I completely stopped using sulfates and silicones. I think it was like summer last year, maybe like June time. Yeah, maybe like May, June time of 2020. Um, and I just haven't looked back and I feel like my hair is really good in, in, good, <laughs> in good condition. I haven't had my hair cut in a year. I had it cut last October and it looked really good. It's grown so much in that time. I had it cut to like here. I'll try and put a picture up of how I, how I had it cut. I had it cut to like here and now it's like down here, like when it's straight. I'm trying to think of what else. I'm trying to think of what else. Let's just get in the shower. Um, let me show you what I'm gonna use. I'll shower and we can discuss. So, I'm currently using the Vita Coco shampoo and conditioner, but as you can see, whoa! As you can see, this has no lid because it's on its way out. There's not much left in here, so I do have some of this left, even though that's on its last legs too. I need to order some new stuff. I'm thinking about getting some Briogeo. Is it called that? Briogeo um, shampoo and conditioner because I like their curl creams and stuff. But this is all my hair care stuff. So, I'll probably use this conditioner. I like the Shea Moisture conditioners. Either that one or this one. Oh no, that's a shampoo. Can't use that one. I've run out of conditioner, man. So basically, I'm gonna use this with that for conditioner. Oh no, this is not gonna stand up. Stay. Stay. Thank you. I have a couple masks I like. I like using this mask as well. This is like a protein treatment. If it ever focuses. I like using this one. This one was a cute option. This is um, a Pantem one. This is silicone free. This is like a two minute in the shower mask. I like this. This is um, a pre-shampoo mask. So you can basically sleep in this or you can just put it on like half an hour before you get in the shower. I always forget, so that's why I keep forgetting to use it, but I really like it. In all honesty, I need to get some new hair stuff. Um, but I keep it pretty simple. Like I just do shampoo, conditioner, a hair mask. So what I'll do is I just shampoo. <laughs> this lighting is horrible. 
shampoo just my scalp. When I was younger, I used to shampoo my whole hair. You don't need to do that. Just shampoo your scalp, give it a proper good scrub, um, and then let it trickle. When you wash it out, let it trickle down the rest of your hair. Then I use my mask. So I'll put a mask in and I will go about my business in the shower. So I'll put the mask all over my hair, focusing like on these parts and this part. Then I'll just sort of go like this, do like a light layer over the top. I don't scrub it in because I do have fine hair um, and sometimes it can like overpower my scalp. I don't wanna add too much density and product in there because um, it can just end up being weighed down and my scalp will get gunked up and I don't want that. Yeah, I had my hair cut to like there this time last year and it's grown like, that's like what, at least six, in that's more than six inches. Anyway, so that's what I'll do. Ma go about my business in the shower, wash my body, wash my face, wash whatever else. Um, and then I'll wash out that mask. So I'll try and keep it in for like a good five, 10 minutes. And then I'll just like put a light layer of conditioner over because hair mask is just glorified conditioner. Like it's just ex like strong conditioner. So I'll just put another tiny little layer of conditioner over and just wash it straight out. Because it makes me feel, I don't know, peaceful, at comfort, at ease. <laughs> and then I'll get out and I'll use, I'll just use an old t-shirt. And that's what I, well what I'll do actually, I'll wring my hair out in the shower. So I'll sort of twist it like this to get all the water out. As much water as I can, twist it out. And then I'll take a t-shirt, um, I do not use towels on my hair. Only use microfiber towels or t-shirts. So I'll take a t-shirt and I'll just like, you know, get all the excess water out. And that's what I do. And then I will come back to you and we'll discuss products that I'll put in it afterwards. Hello. So, I basically, this is what it looks like. I'll tell you what I did when I put clothes on. So what I'm going to do right now is put it like in a t-shirt, like on top of my head, like a towel, but with a t-shirt. So what I did, did everything I told you I was going to do and then Got out of the shower, sort of just wringed some hair out, so like put my head over the bath and like scrunched some water out. I scrunched in this whey curl cream and then, and I don't use a lot, like I literally use like a, a 10p size, like or a 2p size, like a blob like that. Because, because I have fine hair, like you don't want to put too much product in your hair, overpower it. You might think it's going to be good, but mm, your hair will just get weighed down, it won't like it. So. And then I use a Flora and Curl Curl Defining Gel. I really like this. I've used the Curl Cream from them too, if it wants to focus. Yeah, I really like this. I'm pretty sure it's a black owned brand as well. And then I've just like got my t-shirt scrunched. I pretty much scrunched the water I cut out and then scrunched it a bit more with the towel. And then I've just put it on my head like this. I think they call this like plopping. I'm just sort of doing it so it's out of the way because I don't want to start drying it straight away. So I'm just gonna like let it collect a bit of moisture, and then I'll try to diffuse it. Like I said, I don't diffuse my hair, I let it air dry, but that's because I don't care about my hair. <laughs> if I actually wanted it to look good, I'd probably diffuse it. So we'll try and diffuse it today and see if it helps. I just get so bored when I'm diffusing, like I can't lie to you all. I'm just like, is it done yet? Because I'm fucking bored. This is the hair that came out of my head when I was detangling my hair. So it's not that bad, it used to be really bad. Like I used to lose so much hair. Okay. Taking it out. Oh my god, I look like a little. Wait, is this like? Do you ever used to do this when you were a kid and say you had long hair? <laughs> Looking kind of nice. The only thing I feel like I get really knotty hair when it's curl wavy. I feel like people are gonna shout at me if I call my hair curly because it's not. Um, I got my hair dryer. It's a GHD. I don't know what it is. Mum got it me. And I got this diffuser from friggin' Amazon. I think I should, I need to invest in like that Dyson one, but I just refuse to pay that amount of money. So, I'm gonna do it in four sections. So we'll do the back of this side first. Put it all in. I'm bored. Okay, so I've diffused it for about 15 minutes. And you know what? It looks kind of good. Looks kind of good, right? Um, I have not diffused it in a very long time because I'm lazy. I always think it takes long and then when I get going, I'm like, it isn't that long. It's just sitting through it. I'm just looking at my gray hair. Sorry guys, I have quite a lot of gray hair. <laughs> 
25 with a lot of grey hair. So yeah, this is it. I mean, it could do with some work, but not bad. Like, it feels lovely. I always feel like day two hair is better than day one hair anyway. But um, the only thing about my like wave pattern, curl pattern, is like it's very sporadic. It's all completely different. So it's like under the underneath part might be like really nice and together. And then like this top part is like not very very much wavy rather than curly but you know what i can just go in with my chopstick curler and like add some more defined bits if i want but i'm gonna get dressed right now i'm gonna put on one of my fablet x outfits that i got yesterday brown how do we feel about brown leggings let's do brown on brown and hopefully they fit nice i think i put a bit too <laughs> i think i put, put a little bit too many curls in now it looks like it's not my hair in it, I curled it. But, this is what I did. I, it's just like, I did some curls with this chopstick styler. Um, because like, some, it just it just wasn't looking uniformed. Do you know what I mean? It looks a little bit, a little bit mad. Um, so yeah, obviously these will drop. And then in the next few days, but let me show you this outfit. These are the leggings and the bra. I like. The bra is like um, a seamless sort of, you know that material? It's like really stretchy and like seamless. Um, it has like these details in the side and on the back. Then these leggings, I've forgotten what these ones are. I love because they have the side pockets. They look kind of shiny. Do you remember them disco leggings everyone used to wear from um, American Apparel? I can never fit in them because I was too fat. But. Um, this is like that material. They are so high-waisted, so stretchy, so comfy. I love these. I get all my Fabla X leggings in a 1X. On site, there's a few different things because it's like XL, 2XL, whatever. But then there's like 1X, 2X, 3X. I get a 1X, which I believe is like a UK 26, 24, 26. Then I also got this little hoodie from Fabla X. I'm into these little zip-ups, you know, at the moment. They're just nice to throw on, especially in the winter. Like, I don't want to wear, like, somewhat huge to the gym, but sometimes you just need a little bit of something on your arms, you know what I mean? It's cold. This has been my go-to lunch, and I've got two jacket potatoes because I am hungry! So, jacket potato with tuna mayo and sweet corn. And then this girl that I watch on YouTube, I don't know if any of you watch her, she called me Lita Tequila. Um, and she does like these 90s deep dives, like 90s and 2000s pop culture stuff. Anyway, she just dropped a new video about Britney, so it's two hours long. So I'm gonna watch that while I eat. I'm tell me here till the very end. To protect you and to love you and to be with you for life. Eyebrows are done. Let me show you. Brows are done, lashes are done. Look how cute they look. So I decided on my way home that I would stop by Home Sense at the Trafford Centre because I want to see the Christmas decorations they have. I think I'm going to order this tree from Argos that I saw yesterday. They still have it in stock, but it's seven foot and it's like huge. And I'm like, it will fit in my house, but I'm like, is it going to look too big? I don't know. Beggars can't be choosers at this point, but I just thought I'd go to Argos. Not Argos. Home Sense and Primark, see what they had. Then go home because I'm going to the Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh um, exhibition tonight at the Lowry. Not at the Lowry. Am I all right? It's at the fucking, um, what's it called? Is it Media City? Is it the Lowry? I thought it was a hotel. Anyway, I'm going to see that at seven o'clock tonight. So I need to get my stuff in. Whoa. Whoa. I'm a busy bee, so I need to, um, Get my shit together. It's 20 to 4 right now. So let me just say. Like, I really need the toilet as well. And there's not gonna be a toilet anywhere in here. Yeah. I've got enough time. It's gonna be fun. I'll try and vlog a little bit in there, but I'll do it on my phone. Cause this home sense gets busy and I'm not gonna be walking around with this camera, alright? <laughs> not in the run up to Christmas. So hopefully we find cute stuff. I'm now realising I look ridiculous because look at my outfit. I wore the Crocs because I was going to eyebrow appointment. I didn't think I'd be here, but here I am. In the traffic center in my Crocs. I guess I'll just be that girl. I don't mind being that girl for today. With a bad outfit. <laughs> At least I'm comfy. I'm warm. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That one. Okay, we're 
home. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you in Home Sense is I got this wreath for my door, but I was looking at one that was like all gold. Um, but I like this one better. Now, the point of me having a wreath, there's not much point because not a single person, except from, I have one neighbor directly opposite me. No one walks past my door. No one's gonna see this wreath except from my neighbor. But I was telling this someone, I was like, I don't know if there's any point. But then someone said to me, but you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it every day. And I thought, you're right. And that'll make me happy. So I bought a wreath. I just need to get the little thing that goes over the door so I can like hook it on. Then I also got, some e-cloths, I really like these. Um, my friend Vicky put me onto them. These are shower ones, so I can clean the shower with these, like no streaks, love that. I got two um, face towels for my guest bathroom, <laughs> my guest bathroom. Basically, I wanna do like a little rejig in there because it's looking very bare. Um, and especially because my mum and my auntie are coming this weekend, I kind of wanna make it look nice for them. Um, so basically, I've got some face cloths that I'm gonna put in like this so basically i seen this girl on tiktok and she was like stocking her guest bathroom for when her friends come over and stuff and i realized i can do that like i have so many like mini skincare samples and stuff so i'm going to try and put loads of them in there so anyone that comes to stay at my house like can use like skin nice skincare and stuff like that i'm going to put some like body stuff in the shower i'm gonna put like toothbrushes in there just go and buy some cheap toothbrushes buy some toothpaste mouthwash that sort of thing so like anyone that comes they have everything they need so I thought that'd be dead cute. So I bought this for all that stuff, basically. It's like a um, ASMR. It's just one of these. So it has like three compartments. Sorry I don't have the big light on. I feel like this is more ambient. No. So it has big, three big compartments and then like this bit here. Hopefully this will be enough room. If not, I can just go and buy something else in my own sense. And then I also got these. One for the guest bathroom, one for my bathroom. Um, they're just soap containers, but I do have soap in there, but it's, I feel like it's really ugly Like so I'm gonna pour it into these and then anytime I get soap now I'll just put it in these but the soap I've got at the moment is like foam soap so I think these will be good because it's got that foam tip and I think these will work. So I think I'll put that one in the guest bathroom that one in my bathroom because I have the same soap in both bathrooms then Christmas wise, what I actually went for, I picked up some Christmas cards. I've never really sent Christmas cards before, but I thought this year I'll do it. I'm like a full grown adult now, so let me do it. Um, so I just got this one box. There's only 16 in here. So I'll just send these to like my family and friends. Um, but how pretty are they? It's like gold and it's Santa on a sleigh and the little reindeers. I think they're beautiful. I love receiving beautiful Christmas cards, I can't lie. And then I got these two babies i think these are so cute this is my kind of christmas decor like classy indulgent vibes so we've got a big green velvet tree and a big red velvet tree so i'll put i think i'll put one of them on this table my dining table and then one over there on my little coffee table but i think i'm going to go and do some more looking around for christmas bits i want to go sainsbury's i want to go asda i want to go tesco's maybe like b and i want to find some sort of like bauble like a long thing that I can put on my mirror in the hallway, like around the top. Yeah. And then I also did go to Primark. So Primark had some nice homeware, some really cute homeware. They had, so I got this candle. I just love the glass container. And I feel like when you're done with this candle, you can just like wash this out and use it as like a little pot for, to put stuff in. So this is beautiful. The smell is crystal. No, 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 I can't read. Coastal calm. Vetiver and mint. I mean, it's not my favorite smell. It's not horrible, but I just love the glass jar. I got two of these. So I got one for like in the house and I got one for the guest bathroom. And then I also got this for the guest bathroom. So I'm going to have this little tray in there, put this on it, and then maybe like put a few other things on it just so it's sort of decorated. I feel like that bathroom is so bare. And every time I go in, I'm like, ugh. Then. I got a wax burner. So, I've been meaning to get a wax burner for so long. I used to have one, I was obsessed with it. But I feel like all the ones that you can buy usually are quite ugly. Like, not ugly, but like just not aesthetic. This one is not that aesthetic, but I just really wanted one. So I just bought this one from Primark because I bought some wax melts a few weeks ago and I want to use them. Um, the girl that does my brows, Leonie, she um, sells some wax melts in her shop and the wax burner she has is so nice. And she got it from this place, I think they're called Wonder Wax. They do tons of different bars and they sell like nice 
burners. So I was gonna buy one from there, but I've been putting it off. So I'm gonna definitely gonna buy one from them, but I just got this one for now. And then lastly, I love this, and I feel like so many of you are gonna love this. This was the only one in the shop, like I just saw it on its own and I was like, you're coming home with me. It's so pretty. It's just a glass jug with like a gold rim, like super that thin glass. It's beautiful. I feel like you could put like, this is quite summery. I feel like you could have put pims and stuff like that in it, but maybe I could do like a mulled wine in this or just some sort of Christmas cocktail. Me and the girl said we really wanted to do like a friend's Christmas. So like a gal, galmas, like a friend's, like a friend's giving but Christmas version. Cause obviously I'm not American. So if we end up doing that, I'll, there was so much cute stuff. I think I need, I need to plan that with the girls. But yeah, that's all we got. Very successful, I think. And you know what? I was walking around being embarrassed thinking, Emma, you look a mess, you know? Like, isn't, it, it, it just, I looked a bit confusing because I had a black coat. This is like a charcoal color. My pants are brown and my shoes are pink. And I don't care about wearing Crocs. They're comfortable, but people will side eye you. But then I just started thinking, do you remember that girl on TikTok who went out shopping in her pajamas, like full on dressing as the pajamas? And she like does things to show you that no one cares. Like she went out in her pajamas and I thought, you know what Emma, if anyone stares at you, that girl went out in her pajamas and no one gave a fuck. So I'm feeling happy, feeling happy, feeling happy. So I need to clean my bathrooms right now. Definitely clean the guest bathroom. Um, put the washing in the, in the washing machine, ready. <sighs> okay, let's do it. I'm ready. So um, I put this outfit on, it's all, Fabletics because I can't be bothered because I want to be comfy. So it's just leggings, this new top, run star hikes, this new bag I got from um, ASOS. And I forgot to show you this morning, one of my, I ordered some stuff from Image Gang for Black Friday. My favorite jewelry brand, it's my friend's jewelry brand, Isabelle, and I love the jewelry. And I got some new stuff. So I got these little hoops. I got this necklace with a smiley and a 96. Um, and I got some other stuff as well. Oh, I got this ring. In fact, I think she might have chucked this in for free because I did buy quite a bit. Um, this ring is so beautiful. Focus please, darling. Look how gorgeous that is. So all this is like curve friendly jewelry. They do my favorite hoops, so I also got two more pairs of hoops. Love them, a twisted one and one like this. Um, this is an anklet, which I'll probably put on at some point. I've got this T-bar necklace, and it all comes like in this <laughs> cute packaging. How cute is that? So yeah, and then I'm gonna put on my big puffer coat. For my face, I literally just put on a bit of concealer here on my chin, um, just some brow gel, clear brow gel, and some cream blush. That is literally it. Made me look a bit more fresh, because I can't put anything on my eyelashes, so. Very natural look. I'm here for it. Let's go. And it was actually really good. Like it was like an immersive experience. It was like all these screens and stuff. It was good, but I don't think it was worth like 20 some pounds. But it was good. I, I liked it. Um, and the sunflower room was nice. They've got all these cute Christmas markets at um, Media City. So went to the Palm Nose, bought a donut from Planet Donut, and now we're just in Nando's. And um, we walked into Nando's, and the girl said it's a two-hour wait. And I was like, oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And then this other girl came over and was like. What's your name? And I was like, Emma. And she was like, I follow you on Instagram. And I was like, oh my god. And she was like, um, it's a two hour wait, but I can fit you in. So now we're sat in Nando's. Honestly, this is like the first, this is some special treatment that I really appreciate. So I'm going to try and find her when we ate our food and talk to her and thank her and get her on the vlog because I love it. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday. Look who's here. 
it's my mommy. Just gonna go Christmas shopping, aren't we, Mum? Yeah. So meeting with my auntie and Alice. I'm going Christmas shopping. I'm gonna get the tram into town, and we're gonna go right now. You can't even see it. Hello darlings, so it's Sunday, it is the day that this vlog is going to go up but it's the morning time so it's like half past 12 now. I basically, I forgot to vlog yesterday, I'm not going to lie to you. So my mum and my auntie stayed at my house last night because they had organised to go Christmas shopping in Manchester and go out for some drinks and some food and whatever. So yeah, so we went, but it was like, it was raining and it was so cold and I honestly hate going outside like into town on a weekend like especially near Christmas because it's so busy it's so cold it was heaving everywhere there was like police with machine guns in the Arndale which is unsettling um and it was just heaving absolutely everywhere especially because the Christmas markets run as well so I like to go into town and go shopping when like midweek on a night time but anyway, I had a nice time anyway. So we went and did the shopping that we needed to do. Then we went for some drinks. I think we went to All Bar One on um, Dean's Gate. It's really nice in there. Like they played good music. Well, like it's like old school tunes, but good music. And the drinks were really good. And it was like two for one all day until 6 p.m. So we had like some drinks in there. And then we went to Cope Brasserie for our like dinner. Um, so I was like pretty drunk by the end of all this because it was two for one on cocktails. We had lots of those. And then we had like two bottles of wine at dinner yeah um and then we came back home and i think we went to bed so early it was like 9 p.m um which i love so my auntie and my mum had just gone home this morning i've just spent the morning editing the vlog so i just edited it all up until this point um i have some things i need to do today i wasn't gonna vlog on sunday sundays are gonna be my day off the vlog but since i'm doing a few things today i thought i might as well take you along because i feel like this week's vlog has been kind of like not bad because i know you guys like all like the mundane stuff but i feel like it's not been up to my standards of vlog um so i'm gonna vlog a little bit today um my tree came this morning but i think i'm gonna save that for next week's vlog because i'm gonna put it up today but i'll record it and put it in next week's vlog um so yeah i need to go to like b&m today i basically like the whole thing with the guest bathroom let me show you basically i wanted to get some stuff for like i need to get some cleaning supplies anyway from it's not B&M that I'm going to, it's Home Bargains, but I always forget, like, I mix the two up. So I wanted to go get some, like, toothpaste, toothbrushes, shower gel, that sort of stuff for the guest bathroom. <laughs> Let me just show you. I don't know why I've made such a big deal of this guest bathroom thing. Here is what I did. So that's just the bath mat on there. I put my little cactus in here. This is my new thing, which that did have one of these on. But my auntie has used it and put it in the wash basket. So that is going to have like toothbrushes and toothpaste and stuff in. And then that's our little tray we got from um, Primark. Which I put the candle on, that face cloth, a little ornament and the, what's it called, hand wash. Obviously the shower. The shower, which I need to just get some stuff for, like some supplies. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Before it was so bare, like it just wasn't very inviting. And I've just been hanging like the... Um, towel like on this hook here also i use one of these hooks for the wreath on my door i'm not going to show it you on my door because obviously it's got my door number on which i'm not going to show on the internet but it looks really cute so yeah what i want is some sort of like wreathy thing for the top of this mirror right here odds and ends today so i was watching back the vlog and i was realizing how heavy i'm breathing a lot it's because my nose is so still blocked up kind of so what i need to do today is this is a tree that needs to go up but i'm going to save that for later because i just need to tidy up clean i swear to god half your life as an adult was just cleaning and tidying put a wash on all that stuff um i'm gonna shower might try and nip by tesco see if they've got any nice decorations still need to do a food shop which i have not done i don't know why i keep putting that off because next week i'm really gonna try and get back on my routine i really want to get back on my routine next week so it's gonna be go 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 because obviously i was ill then i went away then i was ill again so next week I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things. I realised as well, I've not been showing you my event calendar. So, let me show you what I've been getting for my Look Fantastic. So, I think, obviously, day one, we did the 
Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser. I need to try these out and let you guys know like what I think of them. I'll try and do that in these vlogs as well. Then I think day two was this Wow Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. I'm actually not sure what this does. I'll Google it and see what it does, but that's that. And then we got an Illamasqua Hydra setting spray. I love setting sprays and I love that it's a cute mini one. I won't waste it, but yeah. Then we got this Quarterly SOS Intense Moisturizing Cream. I'm not sure if it's for your face or for your hands, because whenever I think quarterly, I think like hand and nail care. I don't know why. Um, but I think it's for your face because it doesn't say anything about hands. This smells really nice too. And then today we got the Aveda Botanical Repair Strengthening Leave-In Treatment. So for these two things, I'm going to like check online, see what's in them. Also, I realised as well, after I've done this whole spiel about, you know, I don't use um, sulfates and silicones and drying out cuts on my hair. I realised I've been using that um, whey. I've been using that whey curl cream and that whey curl cream has isopropyl alcohol in, which is a drying alcohol. So, I mean, I've already started using it now, so I'm going to carry on using it, but <laughs> I just find that funny. Oh my god, there's sunshine on the hills in the distance and I can see this huge wind farm. Oh, that's so lovely. Can you see it? Look at it. Look how cute that looks. Yeah, and we've been going strong with our Anne Summers advent calendar too. Like, we've been getting some gems and it's kind of like took off on TikTok. Not took off in a big way, but you know. Um, so I think we did... Ooh, we did the mini wand on day one, and then I think it was, and then it was these cards, which are like um, different masturbation positions that you can try, um, which is hilarious. And then we did this G-spot vibrator, which is really powerful actually. Um, this little mini G-spot vibrator. Oh my God, not me dropping things on the glass table. I'm scaring myself. Then day four was this um, satin eye mask that says me time. Ugh, I, l I wish I was, I wish I was into this sort of thing because it's so soft, but I just never wear stuff like this. <laughs> but I mean, you could use it for other things. It doesn't have to be sleeping, you know what I mean? And then today we got a really good one. This is a love egg. So we got a love egg with a remote and it's rechargeable. So this is some good quality shit. Love this. So we've been doing well on our advent calendars. I am going to make an effort to try and remember to do it daily throughout the vlogs. But yeah. So you can come with me today while I just do odds and sods. I also, all this week, instead of putting my hair in a bubble, I've been claw clipping it. Like, let me show you. I think it looks a bit crazy. So I've been like clipping it like that. Um, I don't know. Like, it's just, it feels nice. Um, because I've seen some girls who clipped it down. I always used to clip my hair up so then like it'd be like hanging down. Um, I mean, I don't really think, I don't know if it looks cute, but it's very handy. So try it yourself. I feel gross right now. So I'm going to hop in the shower, clean myself, and then I can just tidy the house and then head out to go and do some shopping. Okay. So I've done my jobs I needed to do. The house is looking a lot tidier a lot nicer i just need to take all my like rubbish and recycling out so then we're gonna head out to home bargains pretty soon first though i had this package come in i'm pretty sure it's my glossier order from black friday so let me tell you what my favorite things are that i always order well i got some things as gifts and i got a couple of things for myself but i'm pretty sure the people who have got these things as gifts for will not be watching these videos it's my two aunties like my dad's sisters let me talk to you about what i got for myself so i got the shower gel the body hero daily oil wash um, and i think this is the pump let's see i am correct so this is the pump for the body wash hmm doesn't really have much of a smell actually it smells like the body oil so it's kind of like a i can't describe the smell but i just wanted to try it i need a new body wash um so i got that i also love these bags that they come in because i save them and use them for like when i'm traveling and stuff like that also for myself i got the coconutbalm.com and the mangobalm.com these are my favorite lip balms i love them um i've had the original one i've had the birthday cake one i've had the coconut one before i've had the what else have i had i've had very various flavors um yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just a universal balm. So you like, sort of like Vaseline, like you can kind of put it anywhere, like dry cuticles, dry elbows, whatever. I just use it as a lip balm because I just love it. So I've never tried this mango one before, but 
I'm sure that'll be lovely. I swear I got a boy brow because I love the Glossier boy brow, but it's not here. And I have two, they've given me another two cloud paints. Basically, my aunties, I got them because I told them, oh, you'll really like like this no makeup makeup that I use. Because they're in their, I think they're in their 50s now um they have beautiful skin and they wear makeup but just like minimal makeup and they always look so glowy and stuff like that so i was like you would love this stuff so basically for my aunties i got them both a stretch concealer both a cloud paint and beam and then for one of my aunties i got her a lid star in the shade slip so i think it's like quite a natural color but she yeah it's like a pinky color you can't even see this properly it's like a pinky colour. Uh, it's like a shimmery pink. Because um, she just wants like fuss free makeup. But like something to put on her eyes. Then for my other Annie I got the same thing. Stretch concealer, cloud paint and beam. But then I also got her this ultra lip. Hydrate and shine and colour in the shade portrait. It's like a really glossy lipstick. In this nice red colour. And I think she will wear that. I don't want to swatch it because it's her present. Um, so hopefully it's nice. I've never tried them before. I think they've messed my order up. Because I swear I got another one of them lipsticks in for me because i wanted to try it and i think i also got a boy brow but they've sent me another two cloud paints oh my god i did order this that's so freaking strange because i swear to god i had other things i've put oh they haven't messed it up i've messed it up so now i have two cloud paints i'm just gonna put these in a the giveaway pile for you guys because i love this um i love these cloud paints i use them all the time um but i'll just put them in a the giveaway pile not me telling saying glossier messed it up but it was me that messed it up okay um i also got a sample of the glossier you perfume oh isn't this like this is like a change in perfume like every person it smells different on it doesn't really smell of much but i do have a bit of a block nose it's very it's a very clean scent like a bit musky, very clean. Um, and then they also sent me this mirror. The mirror says, Oh, hello. The mirror says, You look good. That's you right now, sat on my shelf. Um, that's cute. Put all these away until Christmas for my aunties. I really hope they don't want this. I really don't think they will. I'm heading out. It's four o'clock, it's 3 55, and the shop's shut at 5 pm. So I really need to quickly go to Tesco because I need to go to Tesco and home bargains. That's what I'm going to do. Tesco's because I just need to get some stuff and I want to make pineapple upside down cupcakes later on. So I need to get some ingredients for that and then home bargains to get all the other stuff that I needed. But let's, let's go. I've picked the literal worst time on planet Earth to leave the house because I live near Old Trafford, uh, which is where Man United play. And there was a Man United game today, so a trip that would take me five minutes to the supermarket is now going to take me about 20 minutes uh, because there is people everywhere, the roads are so full, people walking on the roads, and football fans, you know what, let me not even slate them, um, but they don't care, like, the idea of getting run over does not scare them, so um, they'll just walk right in front of your car. <laughs> so I'm stuck in traffic right now, um, on my way to Tesco. So I can't even drive the way I would usually drive. I'm going like a complete different way because the road is just like, it's gridlock. Why did I do this to myself? Why did I not check the fixtures? Why did I not check if they were playing? <coughs> I'm annoyed at myself. Cause I'm on limited time here. The supermarket shuts at 5 PM and it's 4.08. I'll make it, but will I make it to home bargains? I don't know. Um. That was the most pointless car journey of my entire life. And I'm in a really bad mood now. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Because um, basically I, I got in the car and when I said I was stuck in traffic, I was basically sat in standstill traffic for an hour. I didn't move at all. And I knew I wasn't gonna make it to the shop in time. So I just turned around. I just turned around and came home um but even then that took me like another 20 minutes um so yeah feeling great right now so i just went to the co-op and bought some like ready meal because i'm not gonna be able to cook what i wanted i wanted to cook salmon and um, mash and asparagus but i'll just cook that tomorrow um so my phone has gone on to do not disturb I'm going to sit on the sofa and um, watch TV because I'm very fuming. Oh, I need to put my tree up. 
I don't even know if I'm in the mood for it now. I might be. You know what? I might put it up later, but that'll be in next week's vlog. Um, so thank you for watching. And I'll see you next week on Vlogmas week two. Hopefully it'll be better than the shit show that was today. I know you can't change the situation, but it still makes me angry. Love you all. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'll be in a better mood next week. See you later. Bye.